because it's going to be under a lot of load but not to use this bow line so we can undo it after it's been on under tremendous load plenty of tar with it straight through okay. and the next most important thing is make sure the rope can run freely the launch rope we're using is plenty of strength in it it's actually an old retired abseiling rope it's got a breaking strain of about 3,000 kilos so it's good enough for this job all right, the next thing is, after hanging to the handle, gently release the brake. And hopefully she'll just sit there as I wind it off. There's always a moment of truth. Yep, she's going to sit there, beautiful. Now I can unclip the electric winch. So there's nothing holding the boat there, other than friction. And don't always have to, but I will this time. I'll just release the little clip little tilt lock. Now just give the boat a bit of a gentle shove. And at the end, we can use the friction to slow the boat down. There you go. Can you help me, Harry? Helps if it's in neutral, doesn't it? just half motored, half sailed from the boat ramp at Belmont and we're just sitting in the Swansea Channel now of Lake Macquarie, anchored, eating some lunch. We're at Walters Island. If you look on the map I'm pretty sure it's called Pelican Island but we nicknamed it Walters Island after our old dog Walter. so we can you know, get out of that hot sun when we're just sitting here. It's hard to think it's the first day of summer, isn't it? It's a beautiful first day of summer. My goodness, isn't it just? And such a contrast to just you know three days ago where we had torrential rain and we had that crazy weather system come through. And the water's pretty well cleared already, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, con considering how much rain we had in such a short period of time, the lake usually gets pretty crunchy after that, so it's, uh, it's beautiful. Hey Reds.
we're just we're just taking off from the Swansea Channel. We're gonna go for a sail. There's fish. No. It's definitely a big school of fish just from doing whiting or something, I think. Bounce across the sand. Yeah. Yeah. Have a seat. Oh, <laughs> right. that was my bum. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Okay. I think I have a bruise on my bum though. <laughs> you could have warned me sooner. I could have sat down. <laughs> oh, so we just went over a sandbar or something. <laughs> Gavin warned me as it happened. I just slammed on my ass. <laughs> gonna have a nice bruise there now, I think. <laughs> so Gibbs had to jump out so he can push us off it. <laughs> What's he doing, Gary? You wouldn't believe it, we're like inches away from getting across this little bit here. We just touch it. side here and lead out as far as you can that'll help reduce the draft and I'll push us across. Okay. Tell me just what happened. <laughs> well <laughs> I was cutting it fine. <laughs> we're we're coming across the sand flats here at the sand island area and I could see a bit of a shortcut come out this way. And there's some sharp little sandbags just here. And I thought I could just dip across the edge there. And we just got stuck going across that little edge. And uh, I had to get out and push. <laughs> oh, well, I need the exercise. Push start. And the water was beautiful. <laughs> so I know you like forward driving, but that's ridiculous. Yeah, it was a bit of forward driving. And I'm going to have a sore bum. <laughs> comforts of home in a small space. Oh, I can feel it surfing on this. On the weight. Yeah. Oh, now I'm going the wrong way. It's pushed us right off course. Oh, and Red Dog's got flying. Oh, Red. Oh, this... What's Mum doing? She's on the helm. Oh. Sorry, Red. Now just why don't you just stay down there, Wuffy? <laughs> Harry, now Harriet's <laughs> come to say, what are you doing, woman? Check to see what's going on. What's happening? What's happening? It's okay. It's okay. You crazy mudders. <laughs> mudders. You crazy? Did you go slippy slide? Beautiful day sailing, isn't it? It's gorgeous. More Although that, that sun's starting to feel a bit warm again now. Well, it's okay down here. You're in the shade. Exactly. That poor old red dog. Dead. Red dog? You went so slide. You went slippy sliding. <laughs> Well, I reckon we can 
doing since Nazis. What do you reckon, Red Dog? This is a wake. We're looking for quite a nice wake. We're goose swinging, flying along down the bottom end of the lake at the moment, down the south lake, end of Lake Macquarie, and we've got the whole place to ourselves. There's a, a fleet of catamarans racing, but apart from that, no one near us. Wind's a little bit fluky. Sunset for the first day of summer. See a couple of little puppy dogs sitting on that boat waiting for us to come back. Hey, what's going on? So it's about 5.15 in the morning. Gav's still asleep. I got woken up by the puppies. They needed wee, so we've been out for a wee wee walk already. It's been a couple of ducks. The kookaburras have been going crazy. There's Harriet and Red Dog. They slept well. Anyway, the sun's just coming up. There's a bit of fog around. I'll give you... A look see Often get a bit of fog across the lake in the mornings. It's very quiet though. The power station over there actually has fog in it. The camera doesn't really do it any justice, but it's kind of sitting there in this fog. It looks a bit sci-fi. The little recreational area is not open yet. They shut the gates here at sunrise, at sunset, and then someone comes back and opens them. They'd probably be 
someone here opening it real soon. These guys have got it, got it right, living on the lake. Coffee's brewing, ready to get us going for the day. Good Italian coffee. My old coffee pot from my nonna. Still does the trick. She's a bit, she's a bit cranky, but we get yummy coffee out of her still. She does leak a bit. I put some tissues in wog style to keep the bottom of the metho stove clean. That's not burning, that's literally coffee coming out of the sides of the mocha pot. Breakfast is going to be a ham and cheese omelette, which will inadvertently turn into scrambled eggs because I don't usually do omelettes. Some avocado to have with it, our coffee. So hopefully my little fry pan will, um, that just fits into my stove will do the trick. Coffee's nearly ready. It smells good. So far, so good. I actually don't know how I'm going to flip it because I don't have a spatula. Well, I don't know where Gab is. He's taken Harriet for a walk somewhere. He's been gone for probably an hour. So I've made breakfast. I've had my coffee. And my omelette turned out. It's not scrambled. Take a look at this. Looks pretty yummy. Might have been sitting in the pan a bit long, but time to chow down. You can see I'm in a lovely area, a sandy bottom. It's only barely knee deep at the moment here. And this is an accident waiting to happen. Here's a razor clam. This is quite a small one too, ideal bait size. They make good eating, um, but yeah, this one's pretty small. But you can imagine what that would be like if you're unlucky enough to stand on that. They are truly well named. They are literally, you could just about shave, you could just about shave with this. We should get going. Yeah, it's about that time. This is great to see though, people out, all shapes and sizes, getting into it. Living the life! <laughs> dogs are completely calm. Parrots just enjoying it downstairs. Red dog's at my feet. <laughs> 